Bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Speaker. I'd like to start by correcting a misunderstanding around my question to the Prime Minister during PMQs on March the 13th. After meetings and letters with local head teachers, I asked why the Secretary of State had failed to meet with a group of Kent head teachers about school cuts. They wrote to me as part of the Coastal Alliance Trust Group. However, following investigations by my office and the office of the Secretary of State, it appears that a different group called the Worth Less Campaign had requested those meetings, and they have in fact now met with officials from the Secretary of State's department. This wider campaigning body represents a much larger number of concerned school leaders nationally. So I apologise if my original form of words was inaccurate or misleading. This was most definitely not intended by myself or the group of head teachers who originally <coughs> wrote to me and their pupils' parents. Moreover, I sincerely hope that this misunderstanding will not deter the Secretary of State from, from talking to, taking up my invitation to meet with my hard-working head teachers to discuss school funding ahead of the comprehensive spending review. The invitation still very much stands, and he would be, would be very welcome to visit those schools in my constituency. Well now I'd like to talk about the very real struggle faced by those and other head teachers every single day as they are forced to make yet more cuts and cut yet more staff and resources. Schools are having to provide services that, they were, previously, that were previously provided by other agencies, yet the flawed and widely criticised national funding formula doesn't make that possible. Huge differences in per-pupil funding remain in place across the country, and to date there's been no positive difference made to the majority of schools in my constituency. In fact, according to the Commons Library, the total schools block allocation for Canterbury has fallen 6.4% in real terms <coughs> over the past five years, compared to the 4.8% for England nationally. One thing I hear time and again from local head teachers is how hard it is to plan ahead when their funding cycle remains wedded to processes at HM Treasury. This government has provided managers of the NHS, as we heard from member from Harlow, with a long-term plan. Madam Deputy Speaker, so why can't we afford the same degree of mid to long term policy stability to our head teachers too? Yeah, yeah. A member of the Kent Association of Head Teachers wrote to me a few days ago, and I quote Since 2010, schools with pupils aged 5 to 16 have received this 8% real terms cut in funding, and the figure is 20% post 16, as we've heard before today. Against this background, head teachers across Kent remain extremely concerned that the Secretary of State and Minister for Schools continue to underplay the devastating impact <coughs> that the ongoing funding crisis is having upon our provision and capacity to meet the needs of children and families. Others have also pointed out that there is considerable evidence to challenge the Minister for Schools' assertion that since the introduction of the new national funding formula in April 2018, that real terms cuts have ended. The independent body, the Education Policy Institute, have stated that currently over 50% of maintained schools and academies are now spending more than their annual revenues. Recently, over 1,000 councillors across the country wrote to the Secretary of State demanding adequate funding for schools in order to support high needs pupils and those requiring SEND provision. Every single member of this House will have parents, grandparents and carers crying in their weekly surgeries as they face a desperate <coughs> battle to get proper provision for their children. Social care, emotional well-being, speech and language services have all been cut, not to mention PE lessons, sports equipment, teaching of arts, drama, resources and just the chance to add fun to the lives of children. Mm -hmm. They've all but disappeared. Madam Deputy Speaker, I left the classroom in 2016, and whilst this job is at times <coughs> incredibly stressful and has many pressures, the pressures faced by teachers, support staff and head teachers is, is becoming intolerable. The welfare of vulnerable children in a time of shocking child poverty yeah. is left to the heroes who work in our schools, overworked, underpaid and dipping into their own modest pay packets to look after feed and help children, which should be the duty of the state. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Mike King. Yeah.